Welcome to Pure Talk. Right now, it's the holidays, but this look was not inspired by Christmas or Valentine's Day or any other holiday for that matter. This look was inspired by an old movie that I saw by Jean Tierney. And the girls in this movie just had the most beautiful red lips. Every time they turned, the light would perfectly catch the bottom center of their lip. It just perfectly glistened. And the, the lipstick was so dimensional. It was just absolutely gorgeous. And so I recreated the look with some products I had on hand and I'm so happy with the way it came out. This is pretty much exactly the way it looked in the movie. So I'm really excited about that. And if you would like to try this look for a birthday or any other special occasion for that matter, keep watching. One of the very first things that I did to get this lip color together was find out what I wanted to use as the base. So this is the color that I chose. It's a really pretty uh, deep red and it's called Courage. I have used this lipstick before and I absolutely love it. And I do feel very courageous when I'm wearing it. So anyway, that is what I'm gonna use as my base. If you're not sure if a red lipstick is gonna look good on you, you can always put it on the back of your hand to see what it's gonna look like on your skin tone. That always helps me, so that's a little trick if it helps you. I hope it does, um, then great. <laughs> the next step is finding out what color you wanna use to add dimension to the lipstick. So I'm gonna actually use three colors today, and this is the other color that I found that I really like also. It's called Legendary, and this one is more, it almost looks like it has like a deep purple in it. It's a very deep, dark purpley kind of red and I'm really excited on mixing all this together. I feel a little bit like a mad scientist kind of mixing and matching all these colors together. The next color I chose to use is Creative and this is a lighter color. As you can see it's a really pretty red but it is lighter than the others. So basically my rules for this look is to find a medium color as your base, a dark color to add some dimension, and a light color to add some highlight. So that's basically what we're doing. Before I go ahead with any of these lip colors, the first thing I wanna do is line my lips. And I'm gonna do that with a universal lip liner that is completely invisible. You can actually use this on your brows too. But that's for another video. Let me show you how to use this on your lips. It's basically a waxy formula. You can, if you want to make your lips look a little bit bigger, you can go out of the line just a little bit. You can also go right on the line, um, but you definitely, you know, can do either. So you wanna make sure that you really take your time with the lip liner and that you get it precise. All right, so take your time and just put it exactly how you want it so that the lipstick is gonna, it's gonna stop at that invisible border that you're placing there for it. The other thing that's really great about this lip liner is that it's gonna stop your lipstick from feathering. So, you know, if you have that issue with it going into creases, maybe you have wrinkles up, you know, up on your uh, upper lip, maybe it, you know, you have issues with your lipstick feathering, that is not going to happen. So, if you haven't tried this yet, try it, you're gonna love it. I love the idea of not having to buy a lip liner to match every single lip, lipstick color that I own. It's just easier, makes life simple. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go in with the base Courage. And I'm going to, you know what, I'm gonna do this with a brush. So the brush that I'm using is just a small, dense lip brush. I like the ones that are a little bit shorter because I feel like you can get into different smaller areas that you want to a little bit easier. If it's really bendy, sometimes it's hard to be a little bit more precise. So that's my advice. And then you can use the angles of the brush to get into those small crevices. I would encourage you to take your time on this part because you're basically setting the perimeters of where you want your lipstick to go and you know exactly where you want it to be sitting. So make sure you go nice and slow on this step. So I have my base on and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it directly from the lipstick itself and just kind of um, go over it. There we go. Two ways to blot. So one is very important like this. 
That's gonna prevent it from getting on your teeth. Okay, I don't have it on my teeth yet. <laughs> so, again, you're gonna blot like this. And that's gonna prevent it from getting on your teeth. The second blot is gonna be straight. And just do two like that. Okay, so now we have our base on. So now what I'm gonna do is make sure I cover my lipstick because I don't want it to dry out. So do the same. <laughs> you don't want your lipsticks to dry out. And then what I'm gonna do is go in with the darker color Legendary. I'm actually gonna take a longer brush for this. I like that it's a little bit longer because I'm gonna go in to um, the corners of my mouth. Gives me a little more reach. And what I'm gonna do is just, whoop. So, I know you can't see what I'm doing, I'm sorry. I'm using this plate. I put a little bit of the color here on the end of it and I'm just getting enough on the brush. And I'm just gonna go in the corners now to about here. Can you see that? So, you wanna leave this part from here to here. <laughs> You want to leave that um, open, okay? You don't you don't want to put the dark color there, so it's just going to be in the corners. I don't know if you can see that that's starting to build dimension already. Well, you'll see when it's all done. You'll be able to see it. Now I have that dark color on all the sides. To make this look a little bit more blended, I'm gonna use the color Courage again. So the color Courage is actually gonna help blend this a bit. And I don't know if you noticed how I did that, but I'm basically just putting it on the where where it starts and stops so if my dark color stops here then technically that's the line that needs to be blended and that's where I'm applying this so I'm gonna go ahead and do it one more time now I'm gonna blot twice so I did two inner blots and then one straight very light I'm gonna take the lighter color creative and I'm going to put that right in the center on the bottom lip And you can see the dimension to this lip color already. You can take a look at the lipstick and see if you like the dimension that you see. You can always make the inner parts a little bit darker. You can make the center a little bit lighter. It's completely up to you. Then what I like to do to top off this look, this is a little trick that I, I'm sure I'm not the first one to ever do this, but one day I just decided to. So I usually use my pinky and I just dip it in the concealer and very lightly I tap the center of my lips. So at first it looks a little intense, but as it lightens out, it adds a little highlight to that bottom lip. I think it makes that bottom lip uh, pop out just a little bit. It also makes it look more full and, um, <laughs> I was gonna say fluffy. I'm trying to think of the right word, uh, pouty. It makes it look a little bit more pouty on the bottom. And the other thing that it does is it reflects the light. So it really adds a nice dimension to the lips. And you can always lighten it up. What I do is I start with my pinky, as you, as you saw, and I just kind of tap it in very gently, and then I'll switch to another finger just to kind of remove a little bit of it and just get it even lighter than that. So I actually like the way it looks right now. <laughs> and you can see the light hitting it. And the light is just hitting the bottom lip. It's not really bouncing off the top lip. 
copy that. At this point, you can always add like a lip gloss if you wanted this to be a little bit shinier. You can add um, glitter, really just have fun with it. And if you wanted it to be a little bit more dramatic, you can add a little bit more of the concealer to you know make it even a little bit lighter. It's, it's really just what suits you and what you think looks good. So have fun with it. I have a couple tips for you regarding matte lipstick. Since this is a matte lipstick, why not give you these tips now, right? So number one, exfoliate. Number two, exfoliate. Number three, exfoliate. Make sure that your lips are extremely moist and that all of this lipstick is gonna go on a really nice moisturized surface. Now, th there's a couple different ways to do that. One, you can take a washcloth and you can use a creamy face wash. Um, G Purity has a cleanse, a coconut cleanse that you can use. There's other things in the, on the market. Just make sure that it's creamy and moisturizing. You're going to take a washcloth and you're going to just like do circular motions, very small and very soft and gentle on your lips, okay? You're going to go this way and that way, both directions, and that should take care of the dead skin that needs to come off. And you can also, after that, put on a nice lip balm. Now, the other way that you can exfoliate is to take a little bit of sugar, regular white sugar. You could also do this with dark brown sugar and mix it with some olive oil. You could also take a little bit of lemon juice. And then what you're gonna do is same thing, but not with a washcloth, just with your hands. You're gonna rub this way and then that way. Wax, wax on, wax off, okay? And then after that, warm water, take it off, rinse it really well, and then lip balm. The third way you can get rid of the dead excess skin is to take some olive oil and a Q-tip, a Q-tip, and you're gonna take it and you're gonna actually roll it like this. Roll, 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 and then roll it back, and then roll it back again, and keep on doing that back and forth, back and forth, and that's gonna also help take some of the dead skin off. I'm telling you, these tricks work. I've done all three of them, and they are absolutely fantastic for softening your lips. Make sure you put on a good lip balm before you start your layers of matte lipstick. Tip two, when you are doing a very dark lipstick, whether it's red or a nice, pretty berry lipstick, you want to, and you need it to stay for, for many hours, 12 hours, whatever, you want to make sure that you layer the lipstick so that it stays on a long time. You want it to last the longevity of the night. I can tell you that this lipstick is lasting. I already had a bowl of soup um, and two drinks. I had water and some other vitamin supplement drink that I that I make. So the lipstick stays on. What you want to do is make sure that you layer the lipstick. So that means you're going to put one layer, then you're going to blot. You're going to put another layer, you're going to blot. And you're going to do, you know, a few layers like that where you're blotting and layering and that is going to help your lipstick to stay on a very long time. Tip number three, how to take it off. Sometimes red lipstick and dark lipsticks can just be very difficult to take off of your lips. So it's great that you don't want it to come off when you don't want it to come off, but what about when you really do want it to come off, right? So what you can do is take some olive oil and you're gonna do that same Q-tip trick that I told you about for the exfoliating. And you're gonna go back and forth this way and back and forth that way. You could also use baby oil, you could use coconut oil, and you could use makeup remover. All of those different um, things will help get that, that lipstick to come off completely. Another thing I would absolutely recommend is whitening your teeth. I did not do that before filming this video. However, I think anytime that you know ahead of time about a holiday party or any kind of special occasion that you wanna be at and you know you're gonna be wearing dark lipstick, try to whiten your teeth because Definitely, you can see the contrast and white teeth just look so beautiful with dark lipstick. And if they're not white, you know, it shows a little bit more with the dark lipstick. So just a couple helpful tips uh, that might help you out and make you feel a little bit extra confident on your day out. I hope you found all these tips useful. It is never easy doing a video when you are feeling a little under the weather, but tis the season. Listen, as the weather gets colder, do what you can to stay healthy. Vitamin C, vitamin pills, sleep, more sleep, rest up, 
stay healthy. It is not fun to get sick. If you would like to see how I did the eyeshadow or the brows, check out the next couple videos. Make sure you check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and our website, gpurity.com.